before I start, I cannot name my previous jobs. I cannot name the managers' names. I cannot name the co um, the, the employees' names. I even though I no longer work for these companies because of the legal law, I have to try and keep this as confidential as I can to avoid um, possible possibly getting sued even though nobody knows that he's a VTuber. <laughs> it's, it's just for legal reasons, Yankos. If you do find out who these previous companies are, please do not send um, any hate to them. Please do not send any hate to the companies. Please do not send any hate to the employees. I do understand that yes, some employees, some managers have done horrible stuff to Kitty, but that is in the past. And I have to move on. Even though Kitty might have gotten some trauma from her. First sign of the black company in Yankos is a low salary or not receiving salary increases. So all my jobs here, Kitty did get paid. And I think all of them were minimum wage. But the problem is my fourth job and my fifth job I don't think I stayed long enough to get received an increase what increase rages. But I think I don't think I actually got low salary for any of them, which which is actually surprising. They 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 actually did pay um kitty salary. A couple of them were late, but all of them eventually pay me the correct amount of salary in the end. So I think this is going to be the first one where I'm not going to mark anything down for once. Now the second one is long working hours. So I'm actually, I've actually got one where I can put this into. I'm going to put this here. Because even though I only worked there, I think for approximately six-ish months, I actually was overworked there. I remember my first shift being 10 hours. I'm sorry, but that, 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 that's not good. I don't care if, if that means Kitty was a chef. My first shift should not be 10 hours. It, if anything, your first shift should be no longer than eight hours. And then after, after your first week or so, one week to two weeks, that's when you should be building it up. I did get overworked. I was doing 10, 11 hour shifts, four or five times a week. And yeah, um, there was times where I was going over the um, 40 mile mark. And it got, and because, because they immediately put me on such long shifts, I actually got sick straight away. I actually um, got unwell, I think, within my fifth shift. And I had to take um, at least a week off because I got a viral infection. I actually caught the viral infection off someone else. And the fact that I was um, working too much, my body just could not take it. And they they saw it on my face that I was just unwell, so they had to send me home and let me go and get some rest. So I'm actually gonna put that. I'm actually gonna put um very little hours as well. So I'm gonna put that in the first job because I was work. I was doing these tiny, tiny four-hour shifts, like four or five times a week, and that was it. And that's like only what, maybe tw 20 hours? That, that, that's not much, that's hardly nothing. And I'm actually gonna put that as well into the fifth job. Because some of my, some of my shifts there were extremely tiny as well. 
Sometimes I was only working as little as like four, I was only doing like four, five hour shifts a few times a week. And again, that's like only 20 hours. That's hardly nothing as well. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun to talk about. Little or no overtime pay. Oh boy, young girls. I think all, I think, I think all of these uh, deserve it. <laughs> my fourth, my fourth um, thing, my fourth job. Um, I did not get paid any sick pay whatsoever. I had to fight tooth and nail just to get sick pay. I I honestly forgot how much sick pay that they owe me, but I was mad that they did not pay me any sick pay because I had to take, I think it was a couple of weeks off because I got that sick and I also had to get the steroid injections as well. I was so bad that did not pay me any sick pay and I, I really had to fight tooth and nail just for them to pay me money. I don't think they gave me any sick pay as well, my first job. I think I remember when I had to take a couple of days off because I got sick and I checked my um, pay slips and it did not um, come up. So I had to do the same thing again, which was pretty much like tooth and nail just, just to get them to pay me. I even had to bring in the union into this matter because it, it was just a mess, young girls. It was a terrible mess. But the second job and third job, I, I think they actually did pay me and they pay me sick pay as well. So the fourth one is very few or no days off. I don't think I actually got the correct um the correct um time off. Um to be honest. I know this I know this first job was like over 10, 10, 9 years ago. But looking back at it now, I know I know my memory's fuzzy, it's hazy with the first job. But I don't think I actually got hardly any any holiday, any time off. I think I got extremely very little. Because I think at my third job, even though I only worked there for like a couple of years, I don't think I actually got many holidays off either. I, th I think it was very little. I think it was only like a couple of days max compared to the amount of hours that I did. Fourth job, I am going to put that down. I'm, I'm actually going to put that down again because... I, even though I only worked there for, for I think like six, six, seven months maximum, um, I don't think I actually got any, any day, any days off. Any, well, any, um, any holidays, which sucks, yeah. Job, um, I only worked at my fifth job for I think like four no, not four months. I think I only worked at my fifth job for like, yeah, for roughly three to four months, so that doesn't, I can't really put something in there to be honest. So the fifth one is, oh boy, harassment. <laughs> oh boy, right, here we go, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we got. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, everybody gets a point. Every single job gets a point for for power harassment. <laughs> you guys have got no idea here. So power harassment is physical and verbal abuse, which I I I did get. Now you might be wondering which one was the worst for physical and um, for physical abuse um, and verbal abuse. Um, that's actually kind of tough, because, I mean, this, this, this one was bad. Uh, this one was bad. And also, this one was bad. Um, all, all, all of them were kind of bad in their own unique ways, but, um, the first job, I, I got yelled at a lot for very, very little mistakes. I had the manager telling that the stuff that I was making was disgusting, even though the customers enjoyed me um, decorating the desserts and making the side orders. So um, for the second job, 
to transfer then transfer back people were whispering stuff about me and i could tell because because they were pointing at me talking about me and one of the managers did not like kitty and you could just tell that they did not like kitty because i had autism so for the third job um i think it was three chefs that hated kitty literally because i was number one a female and number two kitty had autism again managers hated me as well one of the managers um was saying i was being that i needed to stop being too dramatic being too over the top because i was upset with what he said about me and i was like i'm sorry but i cannot help that i'm upset with over the things you were said about me maybe you could try um using your words a little bit better and understand that i have autism and the reason why i get upset easily is because i have autism i am a sensitive person and i care about the job that i am working at the tears show that i care it shows that i'm a very emotional person yelled at for quote unquote talking back to um another chef that was also like the chef in charge even though i was trying to explain to him why certain things were taking a while for the fourth job mm, i think for the fourth job we'll talk about that in a bit because I, I think that comes into another type of harassment uh for the fifth job oh fucking boy and um, one manager did not get me at all i had it where he wanted me to go into his office before work this was like 10 minutes before my shift so um i got changed to my chef clothes and i stepped into my office and it was me and him and i don't think there was any cctv cameras in the office so um i could not you know get any like proper camera evidence he was asking me why i had why i talked to the other manager about him and i explained the reason why we had a little meeting about him was because of the stuff that he said to me what happened on that day well the day before um he was saying some really um he was saying a little bit of awful stuff about us because during that time i wasn't in, i was a trainee and the other chef that i was a trainee because we were very understaffed and he was asking us you know why food was not coming out this is this is not good enough can't you hurry up and be and be faster and i didn't explain that to him because i i felt very uncomfortable and he was asking why he could not directly speak to him and i explained well because of my autism i do i prefer speaking to a manager that i feel more comfortable with I prefer having a meeting with my parents about this for support. And this is where he got a little bit maybe too defensive. He said that um, apparently I was stabbing him in the back. Apparently I betrayed him question mark. And of course I did, I did get upset over this because I thought I did something very wrong. And he asked why I got upset and I said, well, I, I, I am upset because I'm a sensitive person because of my autism. I am sorry that I have made, that I've made you feel this way. And then he goes on about how he's got kids with ADHD and I'm like, I didn't want to say it, but I think we all knew that ADHD and autism are two different disabilities. So I don't understand how having kids with adhd means that you understand autism i i i was in tears and then he was going on about how i did not need to have a meeting with my parents i did explain to him that my dad was my official work coach explain to him that a work coach is someone who helps someone in regards to work issues like this and because i have got autism he is there to support and help me um if if issues need to be dealt with saying that a work coach does not exist saying that my dad is not my work coach 
going on about how if you know it was trying to give me examples of stuff like you know if if i go shopping do i go shopping with my parents i was like yeah i do go shopping with my parents most of the time because because i because um, here's the thing young girls yes i am an adult yes i'm in my 20s but the reason why um most of the time i do go shopping with my parents is because of the free from section my, my parents don't fully my parents can't fully remember what my allergen slash intolerance are and tolerances are which is why i go with them so when i go to the free from section i can go and grab this and be like hey i could eat this let's put this in the trolley and i'll pay for it and when we get to the checkout but he was just going on and on and i just did not feel right you know what the, you know what the worst thing was he was still expecting me to do that shift despite the fact that i was in fucking tears and guess what i did that shift because i'm a kind human being i contacted my parents the police got informed immediately because um turned out that was um a abuse at work so the next one is sexual harassment which is make one accountable by asking them personal questions Constantly inviting them out to events outside work and touching them without a consent and forcing any, any kind of relationship. Um, so I think luckily none of these need to get marked down for sexual harassment. I'm actually very lucky um, that all the companies I did not get any sexual harassment involved. Um, nobody was trying to hit on me, nobody was trying to force me to date him or her etc um nobody was touching kitty without consent so moving on is more harassment which is similar to bullying um which is leaving and ignoring some individuals which is here um i actually got left out um on my third job i think i got left out on some events because the thing is yankos when you're at a workplace um, normally, normally, depending on which workplace you live in, um, they normally do some sort of like, mm, what would you call it? Maybe like some sort of year yearly events, or maybe a bit like social events twice a year. I think I actually got left out at one of these um events. Thank you for the hand pets. Um, but I noticed after working there for some time. What happened was, when I first worked there, everybody everybody welcomed me with loving arms. And you know, af after the shift, I would get a can of kombucha and they would get um, a drink, a beer or something. And that used to happen. But then after some time, I noticed that stopped. And I was like, what, what on earth is going on? I thought you guys were my friends. I thought, you know, we were all supposed to be in this together. Or some mark. I'm actually gonna put a mark down for the first job because I actually, I actually did feel left out um, at my first job. I sadly could not make any friends. I think at my first job, and I, I just felt that they were leaving Kitty out on purpose. I don't. I think that they actually did have Christmas parties. I don't think I actually got invited to any of them or these yearly events, which which is sad because I actually worked at that place for I, I think I worked at that place for a good three years, a good three four years before um, I luckily found somewhere else to work. Now the next one is maternity harassment, which is targeted pregnant women and working mothers. Now I'm actually going to change this into disability harassment because. I got harassed, uh, well, I was treated unfairly because of my disability. And, and, and guess which jobs get the lovely points? All of them! <laughs> Everyone gets a point! You're all getting points! Oh god, this is, this is starting to look terrible now, to be honest. So, I have been discriminated and badly harassed due to my disabilities. I've also been, dis I've also been harassed because um, I was pretty much the only female chef working at these places, surprisingly. I have been treated differently 
because I have autism. I have been treated differently because I am a female. Um, it has gone to the point where I had little working hours at some of these jobs or I was getting badly overworked. People did not get my autism and due to that I was treated very badly and they were expecting me to work in certain areas of the kitchen that I had little to no training to do which left um, a very stressful shift. I have had comments made about me because Kitty is a female. I've even had one person saying that a woman does not does not belong in the kitchen which I thought was a bit of I thought hold on that that that's sexism right there and high turnover rate and I want to explain about this bad um a lot and guess what everybody here gets a point and I'm going to explain um about the high tur turnover rate in each of my jobs because um, some of them have some very fun stories to discuss about. So, um, for the first job, when I first came in, there was also a another woman who worked in the kitchen with me. After three weeks, she left. Apparently she quit. I was not able to get full details why, but she quit. Um, after two months, another employee quit. And then this started with the waitresses also quitting as well, which led into a lot of new people coming and going because they found out that this place was extremely toxic with the yelling and the manager being horrible. So for my second job, unfortunately we did get some we we did get a lot of chefs coming and going. I know it's common for chefs to come and go, but it got to the point where nearly every month we had somebody new at the job or somebody going. And I thought that was a little bit suspicious. So for the third job, um we actually did get some people coming and going a lot and um, it got to the point where one chef just quit immediately right on the spot I was not at work at that time but I heard that a chef just quit and um, I heard that one transferred somewhere else because I don't think he could handle it for some reason I'm not sure if it's because of the bad management I experienced there we had a lot of bar staff quitting a lot of bar staff transferring somewhere else and yeah it does make you wonder is it the manager just cannot um, look after the staff well so for the fourth job um, this is gonna be fun so for my fourth job when I started working there I had what is known as a buddy so a buddy is someone who is experienced in working in the kitchen at that place and is supposed to guide you in the kitchen they're supposed to pretty much um, tell you how each of the sections work, help teach you how to um, do certain items, certain desserts on the menu, etc. And of course, how to clean um, certain machines. The funny thing was, my buddy quit, I believe, two weeks, two, three weeks um, after I started my shift. So, I had no buddy after two, three weeks. I told the manager, well, the, the manager wasn't wearing the first place, and he told me that I would get um, another buddy. I never got another buddy. So, yeah, that's, that's fun. And for the fifth job, the um, head chef actually left um, a month after I started working there. Um, she she did tell me she did let me know that she unfortunately was going to be leaving and I was sad because I think she was also my buddy as well she was helping me and with how certain stuff in the kitchen works and what was sad is that she told me that more people would be happy that she would be gone Versus the people who would be sad that she would be going. 
If that does not scream toxic work company, I don't know what does. Because she was so kind. She understood my autism. She was so kind and special. I sadly did not get any um, contact details with her, so I've not been able to keep up with her and ask her how she's doing. I do hope that she was able to find a job elsewhere and I hope that she's doing okay. So another sign of a black company is short recruitment process. And normally, Yankos, when you sign up for a job, um, they will look at your CV and they will call you for an interview. And then normally um, they'll come back to you in a couple of weeks um, to tell you if you have been hired or not. And you will, normally, you'll sometimes get given a taster, which is where you go in and work for free in the workplace for a couple of hours. And sometimes they will give you a free meal afterwards as a way of saying, you know, thank you. So, um, I think some of these actually require some points. What happened, Yankos? Um, pretty much all of them are the same story, so I'm going to try and explain this as short as I can. I signed up for these jobs or online or in person because sometimes they did have um, a little notice on their window saying that they were looking uh, for chefs. I handed in my CV and all them contacted me within I think three days um, asking me if I can come in for um, a taster. And I did do a taster. I told all of them that I was enjoying it. One of them hired me right on the spot. And I think it was, yeah, I think it was the fourth job and the fifth job. They both hired me right on the spot after the taster. Because after the taster, they gave me a short interview and they just both hired me straight away. I think, it, I think both of them were in 30 minutes because for the fourth job, I got a text saying that I was hired straight away after the interview slash taster and I was like holy fucking shit what? I thought this was a good thing back then but it turns out this 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 is an awful thing this this means that they are badly understaffed and when there is a high turnover rate you 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 really wonder why huh you really do wonder why so he's gone through everything so for the worst job um we have my first job which definitely screams black company in second place we have my fourth job which also screams black company in the tied third place is my third job and my fifth job which i guess also screams black company and then in last place we've got my second job which yeah, could, could be size of a black company, so... I think it's, I think it's e easy to say, Yankos, that nearly all my jobs were signs of a black company. I'm gonna need a lot of therapy, let me tell you that, Yankos. 